I'm trying to get 100 platinum trophies. I already have two and you can check those out after this video. So for my third, I decided to go with a game that you have to platinum if you're a platinum trophy hunter. Astro's Playroom. This is a game you get when you get a PS5 and it is filled with fun and very easy to platinum. With only one playthrough required, a 2 out of 10 difficulty, and it taking 5 hours to platinum, I knew this was going to be a relaxing one. The game has 43 trophies for the platinum and 3 more for the DLC. I unintentionally got all 46 trophies. How? You'll see later on. This video will be broken up into three different parts. Part 1 will be completing the story and getting as many puzzle pieces, artifacts, and miscellaneous trophies as I can. Part 2 will be cleanup, getting everything else I missed, and Part 3, I guess, is doing the DLC trophies that I didn't even know you didn't need, but oh well. The game starts out showing you how the interactive controller works and shows you the mechanics of the game. What's this? Maybe I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. I pull on this wire rope and am introduced to the main area of the game, where I can choose my level. Oh, hello! Being one of the easiest oh. platinum trophies out there, like I mentioned, area. you have to get all of the artifacts and puzzle pieces in the game. I started out by getting all four that were in the main area, which gave me a trophy. And there's our first trophy, GPU Jungle. So the levels are cleverly named. The first one I decided to dive into was GPU Jungle. Ah. The artifacts are decently well hidden, making you go off the beaten path in order to find them. I found my first one and it earned a trophy. Artifact. Whoa! Got your first artifact. Each artifact is an item from every Sony PlayStation console, and boy did it bring back so much nostalgia. Each level has like a type of vehicle that you can control. Whoa! And the first level had a monkey that you used to climb, which honestly was a little bit difficult. I used my primate instincts, but accidentally slipped and fell, caught myself for another trophy. Oh, I did it! Accidentally, I did it. <laughs> I then found some more puzzle pieces to piece my platinum trophy together. You get it? Then I used my attacks to quickly bludgeon three enemies for my fourth trophy. After all that, I then sent these bunnies to the Shadow Realm with my bow and arrow for another trophy. Got it, let's go. Now, GPU Jungle was complete. I had missed some artifacts and puzzle pieces, but I'll come back for them later. I pulled this wire rope again to beat the level and earn a trophy for my hard work. Just a bunch. <laughs> Clear GPU jungle. Now here is the Labo, or Labo, I, I don't really know, but it's the area where you can show off your artifacts and puzzle art. This machine was the gotcha machine. Gotcha, bitch! All the coins you earn in the game lets you use this claw machine to earn more pieces and artifacts. Whoa, what's this? That's your first gotcha prize. Cool. Sweet. Ooh. Ooh, gotcha. The second area is Cooling Springs. Seeing a trend here? Let's run it. Having to earn a total of 8 artifacts and 16 puzzle pieces for each area was honestly the daunting part of this platinum, but I knew it needed to be done. Oh, an artifact. Oh, cool. Dive into the water. This must be the frog suit. Yep. Artifact, perhaps? Cool. I got another trophy for spending like Crash Bandicoot and jumping three times. That was easy. Second artifact, good deal. 
pretty cool. Then I earned another one for bouncing balls on my head. Yeah! And at the end of the level, another one was gifted to me for standing at the top of this squirting fountain. There it is! The finger guns came out, and I earned two more trophies for completing cooling springs, and for finding all the artifacts in this level. Cleared cooling springs. Oh! Got all the artifacts in cooling springs. Yeah, we did. Yeah, this is a ton of fun. Memory Meadow. If you can't see the trend of these level names by now, I think you just need mental help. Just, just kidding. While this cloud was blowing me, I mean, while the cloud blew me, I, whatever. I got a puzzle piece, some artifacts, and then went back to the BJ cloud, and he spit after blowing me, and hit me with another trophy. Oh, there we go. That worked. <laughs> Now, this level's vehicle lets you tap into your inner super monkey ball, which was surprisingly hard to control. Yep. Oh no. I rolled the absolute shit out of myself into the bowling pins for yet again another trophy. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Fast, 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 fast. Artifact. It's gotta be for an artifact. Nice. Then, for whatever reason, I had to blow into this duck's ass for him to transport me. Yeah, sussy, I know. Okay, yep, yeah, we'll go ahead. Let's go, Iron Giant. Back in our ball. Okay, okay, oh, 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 okay, oh, 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 yep, yep, oh, 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 what, 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 okay, yep, hang on a second. Oh, yeah, nope, yep, oh, no, oh, 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 stop, oh, 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 yep, stop. Oh, yep, oh, yep, oh, yep. Stop! Stop! Oh boy. No, no, back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh, this is treacherous. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm spinning. There we go. Yeah, no, I know how to do it. Oh, okay, that didn't last long. Uh huh. Oh. Okay. Six times the charm. Oh, stop, 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 stop. All right, slow and steady. I can't, I can't. Come on, come on. Yeah. Oh, God. Don't stop. All right, we got it this time. No, we don't. <laughs> Alright, so wait, easy, easy, easy. Okay, whoa! Alright, slow and steady. Okay. Oh yeah, I got it this time. Give me that artifact. I tugged and tugged and tugged to beat Memory Meadow and found all the artifacts, giving me another set of trophies. Boy! Do it! Cleared Memory Meadow. Oh. And got all artifacts. Now my art wall was getting filled up faster than a fat kid during Thanksgiving, but I opened one of the early consoles and earned a trophy. Oh! Open the lid of the PlayStation. Cool! 
then another for delivering a spinning crash punch to 10 harmless bots. Yes. And lastly, another one for having 20 bots follow me like I was their master in chief, putting me at 20 trophies. Let's go. Now this was the last area of the game. This area let me blast off my rocket like I was Hemi Neutron. Three, three, two, two, one, one. Got a blast! Earning any and all pieces and artifacts that I could. Oh boy. The OG sound. And of course, once I beat it, you guessed it, earned my last trophy for level completion. Wow. Cleared SSD Speedway. I then decided to do some miscellaneous trophies and started by punching the PlayStation logo. Gotcha. And then another one for climbing to the tip top of the aim controller. Uh, and I also went thing. back to the good old claw machine and earned two more for getting half of the gotcha prizes and getting a secret one. What was that? I already got half of them? What was that? Got a secret gotcha? Gotcha, bitch! You're bound to get a can of it. Okay. Now, the final boss was something spectacular. Taking you all the way back to 1994, this, this battle was boss. so much fun. I mean, hats off to the devs for the thought put into this. 1994 throwback. Wow. This is so cool. Definitely the boss. I have two lives. What? What? This must be from a, a game, I don't know, but, uh... <laughs> wasn't alive in 1994. Oh, I wasn't ready for that. Okay, whoops. Like the rest of the game, the boss was pretty easy, using simple mechanics to avoid his tail and other simple attacks. Okay, well, down to one. Once you beat his first form, he gets a little bit tougher, and you fight his second wave. Similar attacks, just simply avoid them and hit his eye a bunch of times to deal damage. Once Reptar is beat, you get the chance to pick up all the new age artifacts, and from there, the game is beat. Which meant it was time for part two, clean up. Fantastic game. Incredible game.
Went back to the Labo or Labo to earn two more trophies for coincidentally enough picking up a trophy and walking under a house. Now we're looking for one puzzle piece. I found the last puzzle piece in the Super Monkey Ball level to give me my 29th trophy. There it is. Got it. Then I went back to GPU Jungle, swinging like a monkey I am, getting the last two artifacts to earn another trophy. And found the last puzzle piece, which meant the jungle was complete. Here we go. So I missed one puzzle piece in the Frogger suit, so I found that, which gave me another completion trophy. Here it is. And back at the Labo again, I turned on the headset, eager to get some VR action in, but instead earned another trophy. Then punched the old Sony logo away, revealing the new one for another. Now here I went back to SSD Speedway to collect more artifacts like Indiana Jones. Getting those and earning my last puzzle piece, giving me two more trophies for finding all of them. There it is. Got all the puzzle pieces. Oh yeah, baby! No, what are you doing? Oh no! <laughs> I had one more artifact to find, so maybe or maybe not I looked at a guide to help me. I know, crucify me. Sword my way to it and earn two more trophies. Oh, there it is. Welcome to third place. Got all the artifacts. Dude Raider collected all four artifacts in the four main stages. My artifact collection and puzzle wall was complete. Isn't it beautiful? Arguably more beautiful than my fiance in the mornings. Splendid, the wall puzzle is complete. I made my last trip to the gotcha machine, crushing my last ball and earning its last trophy. Last ball and I earned a trophy. Here it is. Gotcha, bitch! And then uh, decided to have a little dance party, because let's be honest, this soundtrack was an absolute bop. Yeah, yeah. I did a 360 no scope like my early COD days to earn my 40th trophy. Yeah, buddy. Then I uh, went back to another level to roll this big ass snowball, getting me closer to the platinum. Holy crap, this thing's getting huge. Yeah, buddy! Made a huge snowball. So here I had to tap into my inner sniping skills and shoot out a spitter's attack with my arrow for another one. Yeah, buddy! Look at the spitter's attack. So here I earned another trophy, and here's kind of where the confusion happens for me. I technically had one more trophy to go for the Platinum, standing under a platform. But funny part is, I earned the Platinum, but I never saw it. You can literally see it pop up as I look away. I, I, I felt beyond stupid. This is why I unintentionally got all 46 trophies. But anyway, here's the last three. I made the CPU chip punch 10 bots. One was earned for getting all the new age PlayStation artifacts earlier. My counting, I guess, was off because I never saw the Platinum Trophy pop up. I had one more to complete, and it was the speedruns. I was a little bit nervous about this, but they were super easy. You had to complete all eight speedruns for a total time of under seven minutes. They were really, really easy speedruns. I was averaging under a minute per speedrun. Here was the times I got for each one. Okay, that was pretty fast. 50 seconds. That was a pretty good time. 49, I'm still on pace. Yeah, we're locked in. Let's go, let's go. Great time. Fucking great time. Oh yeah, that's great time. Let's go! Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, fantastic time. Fantastic time, didn't even have to redo that one. Oh, that's easy cash, that's easy sub minute.
Oh, that's easy, sub in it. This trophy's mine. Whole ass, whole ass. The trophy is mine. Come on. Give it to me. Give it to me. At the last one completes, you can see the utter confusion in my face as to why I didn't earn the platinum. Maybe. Maybe not. What happened? What? Wait, am I missing a trophy? I later went back through my footage and figured out why, of course. Did I miss it? But you know what? Here it is again for shits and giggles. Three more. 